31 year old uh, gentleman from Connecticut, uh, 31 Connecticut with pro-hormone induced gynecomastia. And this is what we got out. We did direct gland removal. This side was the right side. This was the left side. The right side a little bit long and thin. The left side was more condensed, round and thicker. These were big and they occupied the space between the nipple, the skin, and the underlying pectoralis major muscle. Stealth incisions where the water meets the beach. I got these out perfectly and totally, 99%, 98%, uh, you know, out because I never, never, never want a recurrence. We sculpted also any kind of fat and any kind of gland that we removed all around, even up, just, just really circumfer circumferentially around the area where, the, where this sat. Because of the huge nature of this, uh, uh, of this gland, the space that we removed it is gonna to wanna to fill up with fluid postoperatively. So we did put in bilateral drains, which we exited out of the hair inside the armpit. So again, stealth-like incisions, nothing for anybody to see once they all heal. Drains will stay in about a week, plus or minus, depending upon how much it drains. He will be absolutely go back to the gym in two weeks. Light activity first, you know, do the bar, not any plates for a while. Uh, but then he'll step it up and he'll be full go. Never recurrence, perfect results. Um, all under local anesthesia. So these are pro-hormone uh, SARMs, pro-hormone pro, pro induced gynecomastia glands on a gentleman who's lean and mean. And uh, this is what I'm talking about. Lebo gyno, let's go.